brief history and explanation of Munchausen syndrome by proxy. If you've been on the internet in the last couple of weeks, you have certainly heard about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, who was recently released from prison. If somehow you're not familiar with her story, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is a woman who as a child was a victim of Munchausen by proxy syndrome at the hands of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Dee Dee fabricated and exaggerated Gypsy's medical conditions, leading to unnecessary medical treatments and interventions, including making Gypsy eat through a feeding tube, giving her unnecessary surgeries, and more. Gypsy Rose later conspired with her then-boyfriend to murder her mother as a desperate attempt to escape from the abusive and controlling situation created by Dee Dee's actions. Gypsy's case is a sad one, and it got me thinking. How did they discover this invisible illness in the first place? Join me today as we dive into the history of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, how it was discovered, how it was treated, and famous cases of the disorder over time. So, now that I've lured you in with Miss Gypsy Rose, what is this mysterious illness anyways? Well, first, I should say that the official diagnosis is now actually called factitious disorder imposed on another. Within the United States, factitious disorder imposed on another, FDIA or FDIOA, was officially recognized in 2013. It's incredibly rare with incidence rate estimates ranging from 1 to 28 her million children. The parent deliberately exaggerates or lies about the medical condition of the victim, often leading to unnecessary medical treatment. Sometimes they will even cause the illness to happen rather than pretending, so they'll go out of their way to hurt or neglect their child in some way um, in order for the child to appear sick. The motivation behind MSBP is the caregiver's desire for the perceived emotional rewards and validation that come from being seen as a devoted and selfless caregiver. First described by British endocrinologist and hematologist Richard Asher in 1951 as when someone invents or exaggerates medical symptoms to gain attention or sympathy. Born in Hanover, Germany, the real-life Munchausen fought for the Russian Empire during the Russo-Turkish War of 1735 to 1739. Once he retired in 1760, he became a minor celebrity within German aristocratic circles for telling absolutely outrageous tall tales from his time in the military. After hearing some of Munchausen's stories, this guy named Rasp, who thought it was all pretty funny, wrote them down and sold them first to a magazine and then to a publisher as a book, uh, though the works were published anonymously. The real life Munchausen was uh, pretty pissed about the character and threatened legal proceedings against the publisher. So fearing a lawsuit, not wanting to get sued, Rasp never acknowledged his authorship of the work which was only established after his death. The stuff that Rasp was writing about the fictional Baron focused on his impossible achievements as a sportsman, a soldier, and a traveler. Uh, for instance, riding on a cannonball, fighting a 40-foot crocodile, and traveling to the moon. It really makes you wonder what the real-life guy was saying. <laughs> so you can see why Dr. Asher also, side note, because I don't know where else to say this, one of his daughters dated one of the Beatles. Um, but anyways, you can see why he chose Munchausen as the inspiration for the name. People coming up with outlandish things for attention, it fits. Munchausen syndrome by proxy was first recognized and described by pediatrician Sir Roy Meadow in the early 1970s. Meadow observed a pattern of unexplained illnesses and symptoms in children that seemed to persist only when they were in the presence of a specific caregiver, usually a mother. The term Munchausen syndrome by proxy was coined to reflect the similarity to Munchausen syndrome where people fake an illness for attention. The key distinction with MSBP is that the deception involves a caregiver inducing or exaggerating symptoms in someone under their care. 
Detection of MSBP is often challenging due to the covert nature of the abuse and the medical complexity involved. Cases may initially go unnoticed as healthcare professionals typically trust the information provided by caregivers. I mean, why wouldn't they? If you've got a parent saying their kid is sick, unless they're a really bad actor and like smiling about the anticipation of it or something, timing is wrong. It's literally kind of their job. Diagnosis often relies on thorough medical investigation, collaboration between healthcare providers, and consideration of the possibility of intentional harm. Some steps that are taken once Munchausen syndrome by proxy is confirmed include medical intervention, in which medical professionals may discontinue unnecessary treatments and medications, psychiatric evaluation and therapy. Uh, perpetrators often require psychiatric evaluation and treatment to address underlying mental health issues. Psychotherapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, may be used to understand and modify their behavior. CPS involvement, cases of MSBP are considered a form of child abuse. The focus is on ensuring the safety of the child and appropriate legal measures may be taken, including removing the child from the abusive environment. And legal consequences. Legal actions may be pursued to hold the perpetrator accountable for their actions. As awareness grows, medical professionals are better equipped to identify red flags, conduct comprehensive assessments, and intervene to protect the well-being of the victim. Let's look at a couple examples. Rapper Eminem has spoken about how his mother would frequently take him to hospitals to receive treatment for illnesses that he did not have. His song, Cleaning Out My Closet, includes a lyric referencing the illness. His mother's illness actually resulted in Eminem eventually receiving custody of his younger brother, Nathan. Another example is Julie Gregory, who in her memoir, Sickened, recounted her childhood experiences of Munchausen syndrome by proxy at the hands of her mother, who subjected her to unnecessary medical procedures and claimed she had a number of illnesses. And finally, uh, Kathy Bush gained public sympathy for the plight of her daughter Jennifer, who by the age of eight had undergone 40 surgeries and spent over 640 days in the hospital. This led to a visit with First Lady Hillary Clinton, who championed Bush's plight as evidence of need for medical reform. However, in 1996, Kathy Bush was actually arrested and charged with child abuse and Medicaid fraud, accused of sabotaging Jennifer's medical equipment and drugs to agitate and prolong her illness. Jennifer was moved to foster care, where she quickly regained her health. The prosecutors claimed Kathy was driven by Munchausen syndrome by proxy, and she was convicted to a five-year sentence in 1999. Jennifer was moved to foster care, where she quickly regained her health. Kathy was released after serving three years in 2005 and having gotten back in contact with Jennifer via correspondence. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you want more random internet rabbit hole history videos. Okay, bye.